Okay. Now I also, you just heard me a moment ago talk about the value of fermented plant proteins. I am a fan of fermentation and I talk about some of my personal um, fermented food favorites, especially when it does come to carbohydrates, which is the main macro that is fermented. Bacteria love eating carbohydrates. They don't touch fats. They don't touch proteins. They will eat those carbs, which is a, a sort of a particular benefit for us because there's less of the carb, which we don't care about. We want the fats and proteins. And in the process, the bacteria, after consuming the carbs, end up giving us some really healthy fats, namely short chain fats. Now, ultimately, as I mentioned a moment ago, after going through all of these um, principles that you will take advantage of to address your insulin resistance, it does put you into these three categories, reverse, prevent, or maintain. And I split that up a bit um, with regards to the macronutrients, because depending on where you are, it does suggest an inherent difference in your ability to handle perhaps carbohydrates. And so that influences a little bit of the strategy moving forward. And then, and then lastly, speaking of moving, I talk a little bit about exercise. Um, I break down the relevance of the liver in exercise and how that manages, that affects blood glucose, especially heavy emphasis on the role of skeletal muscle, which just by mass is most of what we are. Most of our body mass, when we're standing on the scale, if there's any particular tissue, it's muscle that matters most. And combined with the metabolic rate of muscle and its ability to really eat glucose as a fuel, it's no surprise that muscle mass matters enormously. And so I have very, very strong thoughts on the power of uh, the value of exercise, and that comes into play um, in that chapter here, where I really review the evidence of, of exercise in particular. Um, then, as I mentioned, we get to the plan. And the plan, um, as I showed you earlier, breaks down into those three categories, depending on where you are, whether it is reverse. And then if you are in the position of reverse, you are full insulin resistant. We sort of have this transition where as you've been doing some of this, how do you know when it's time to kind of graduate to the next level? And it slides you into that prevent phase. Um, and then eventually, hopefully, or maybe you're one of the lucky few where you're already there, you're in the maintain phase. And then Diana, wonderful gal that she is, extensive experience. She then really provides some direct exercise plans with just lovely pictures and then incredible meals that you can see based on the color coding is broken down into the various macronutrients that I'd out, well, the three macros that um, split into the ratios that that we looked at with regards to re um, reverse, prevent, and maintain. So the dietary portion gets split into those three categories. So it makes it really, really simple as you want to look at various meals that will help you in those three categories. Um, you'll have them all laid out, not only in beautiful, full color pictures, um, but also just absolutely delicious um, meals uh, from top to bottom. Her involvement in in the the actual meal and exercise planning allowed me to stay in the realm in which I'm very comfortable, namely that of professor. I want to teach you ideas um, so that you understand what's happening. I always I have to believe there is value in just understanding the process as much as a lot most people just want pure plan. Just tell me what to do. That's valuable. Of course it is. But I, I just have to believe there's value in maybe added motivation um, for the plan itself, but there has to be some value in understanding why these things work. 